So I started five years ago just kind of playing around with flowers. I was seeing things on the market. So it was like when the dried flowers were really in. And so I went out and picked like bunny tails at the beach and started foraging a whole bunch of things. And then I started selling some things online and then I got some leading inquiries. So I started just doing dried florals and then my creativity got the best of me and I wanted to do more. So I kind of dove into fresh flowers. And then, yeah, two years ago we did a rebrand and kind of came up with the Willow and Sage Botanics name and now just focus on weddings and events um, and the workshops, which is the other side to the business. Hello, my name is Jade. I am the floral designer and owner here at Willow and Sage Botanics, where we do wedding and event florals and we teach workshops with Willow and Sage Atelier. After working with so many brides and grooms, um, I've really found that like this sense of overwhelm is kind of like looming <laughs> um, and just wedding planning is crazy. So I've really made it my mission to cut out any of the stress and the fuss and just make it a really simple and enjoyable process because it should be. It's, you know, the fun part of your planning you know, planning your wedding, the, the flowers and the styling. So they um, can book a call, they just inquire through our website and that takes them to book a 30 minute um, chat with me over Zoom where we can kind of just chat, get to know each other. I'll ask them like all of the fun design -y questions. They can ask me anything. No question is off limit. I'm super transparent when it comes to pricing and um, yeah, just anything flower related. And then we kind of talk about what they're thinking, how we can bring it to life. And then after our chat, I'll send them through a really detailed quote and a proposal with mock-ups so that they can really visualize the florals in their chosen venue. Um, and once they're happy with everything, we can kind of make adjustments if needed. Um, they just pay a 20% deposit and sign the contract and then that's it. Um, and basically we don't really touch base until six weeks before their wedding. I'm obviously available throughout the whole process if they do and if they've got a planner that needs to get in touch, we do do that. Um, but at that six week final run through, we just kind of have a chat of all the final last minute design bits, logistics, um, and then yeah, we get to ordering everything, designing all the flowers, and then we bring it all to life on the day.